I had a request to get the transmission internal number out of this 250 GTE. Um, Ferraris do, Ferrari factory gives a uh, classic A certification. And one of the processes of certification is to collect all the internal numbers on uh, various parts of the car from the engine, transmission, rear end, um, and all sorts of stuff to, to certify the car left is still in the way that it left the factory. In other words, it has the original engine, has the original gearbox, the original rear end, and uh, the original, uh, you know, all sorts of, of stuff that they took notes of back in the 60s. And what you can do is for a fee, uh, you submit all the numbers, they go and look at their records, and they say, great, your car hasn't been messed with, no one's replaced the transmission, no one's replaced the uh, rear differential it is certified, um, as they say, uh, Class C K certified by Ferrari. Uh, it's a process that, that we go through collecting numbers on these old cars and, and submitting them to the factory and waiting a period of time for them to confirm and then send you this what I call the red book. A um, lot of uh, leeway, but uh, without getting into the specific details, but uh, the, the one thing on these cars... You can get the engine, you can get the engine numbers. There's a, you know, I can show you someday in the future where, where the internal numbers are. You can get the internal numbers off of the rear differential, um, you know, all those things. But the one number that is not easy to get is the transmission. And today, I've got to pull the tr this uh, interior out so I can get to the transmission. Um, so uh, you can uh, follow along. The first step is to get the seats unbolted. Uh, 250 GTEs were often secured with Phillips screws um, and then later on they used Allen uh, bolts, but it all depends. Each car is different. I've seen Phillips, I've seen regular hex head bolts and uh, Allen screws uh, used to hold the seats down. But uh, you just got to find out what they are and get them out. There's four on uh, each of the seat rails. The next step is to remove the center console. On series one and two cars, it makes it a little bit easier because the heater control valves are, or heater controls are all up on the dash. So the cables don't have to be removed from the center console. Uh, one less thing you have to disconnect to get out. Next step from there is to take the shifter knob off, get the carpets out, and uh, remove the um, center tunnel. I'm leaving the leather cover on the uh, transmission tunnel to save the step. Otherwise, I'd have to unscrew the ashtray. Um, just got to be really careful not to scratch anything and um, scuff up the leather or, or uh, that. But it's, it's just trying to save from having to take everything apart. With the cover off, you can actually finally get to the number. But it needed a little bit of cleaning just so that the numbers were clear and uh, I took plenty of pictures. Okay, so the interior of the GTE is out of the car. All four, so we can get access to the transmission internal number. This one's 298-E. The uh, problem with Ferrari, and they want um, to classically certify a car, that is probably one of the hardest, 
hardest numbers to find. You know, the, uh, the internal numbers on the engine, easy to see, uh, rear axle, um, but uh, the one that's really a bear to get to is the transmission. And with, uh, with 250 Ferrari engines, the, uh, the only way to see it is underneath, you know, is up top. The transmission cover, there's a little access hole, but what we were looking at, you know, if you take this panel off, that number is here. So there's no way, I mean, we've tried, tried mirrors from underneath the car. We tried little cameras, you know, you can't get light on it. And then there's a couple wires. I mean, I've seen, you know, the, the wires, the, the overdrive wire or something could be blocking it. So you could try to try to get access through this tiny little hole down here and get up in there to see that number. But sometimes the easiest way is just bite the bullet and take the interior out. So, you know, they wanted to see the number. That was the only way. So that's how I spent the morning. I wish it was as easy as just reversing the uh, camera and put everything back together. But um, putting the stuff back, you almost have to take extra time just to make sure that nothing gets scratched and, and um, everything goes back and fits perfectly. Reworking some of the leather and, and, um, and carpet just so that none of the seams are showing. Also clean everything up, you know, with the seats out this is the best access to uh, vacuum everything and, and get everything uh, nice and clean. Well, there you have it. Ferrari transmission internal numbers. Thanks for watching.